Hey guys, and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and I have a lot of news for you guys tonight, so I'll probably be pumping out one, two, maybe three, but I'm going to try to keep it to two, so we're going to move really, really quickly. Not much in the markets today. A uh, little bit of movement uh, because of uh, the Ethereum troubles with scalability, or at least that's what people are claiming. Uh, status ICO was wildly successful, um, but it locked up wallets everywhere. We have problems on exchanges everywhere. Uh, price discrepancies across exchanges because money is getting tied up because people cannot move their wallets around. So you're seeing significant price differences between different exchanges, which is a great trading opportunity and I hope that you took advantage of that the problem is is that you can't trade quickly um, because you basically can't move ethereum uh, back and forth so it's either in, in some places it may be a good buying opportunity in other places you might want to sell your ether right now because it's higher than it's supposed to be um, so things are kind of crazy right now in the ether world um, but I think all will be okay soon I think uh, just a little bit of uh, hesitation. I think a lot of the exchanges are just trying to play it safe. So let's go. Uh, let's keep going. So I talked about status. Uh, the Civic ICO, guys, uh, is in uh, just under eight hours now. So by the time you're watching this, you're going to have to be preparing. Maybe you're listening to this right now while you're waiting for that to count down. And I wish you the best of luck because this one's going to explode like all of the others. Um, with all of the issues that we're having. Don't be surprised if it gets delayed, though. I could see them pushing it back a day, potentially. That's only a wild speculation and guess just because of what's been going on today. So keep that in mind. But make sure you guys are ready. The moment when the block hits, you may want to pay more in gas if you're really serious about getting in on it. Um, just be mindful of what your actual gas price is. Uh, make sure you're ready and you've checked all your numbers beforehand and uh, you are ready to go when the clock hits zero. Although usually, um, as you know, these things are, are, are definitely based on um, the blockchain, on the actual block number. So you guys make sure your wallets are synced early and you're paying attention. So good luck. Um, if you're not familiar with Civic, essentially they're tackling personal identity. Uh, they have a fantastic video that talks about it better than I could ever try to just talk to you about it, but uh, just a quick recap. Basically, it's, it's, it's an application that um, in, a, in an ecosystem where your identity is protected and shared at the same time. Um, that there is truly only one you, but you can go anywhere and everywhere with this one app and just using uh, uh, the ideas is that you could just use your fingerprint uh, for everything. No more pulling out your ID to board a plane uh, to check in at the airport, um, things like that. Never again. Instead, you just uh, whip out your phone, um, and with your thumbprint, it is basically validating who you are um, as you walk through. So kind of fascinating, trying to uh, basically, uh, I don't know, it could be used as a future social security number tied to everyone, but that would require everyone having a chip on them at all times, and yeah, not into that at all. So... Uh, it definitely has some unique applications, though, um, but as with the ICO craze uh, going on right now, people are going to throw money at it, even if they don't believe in it, and it's probably going to sell out and be worth quite a bit more. Make sure you read all about it, though. My understanding is that they're only doing about 33% of the coins, so uh, just keep in mind that there could be more coming out someday. So that's Civic. Moving on, um, I want to talk about Lisk. Um, I've uh, mentioned Lisk before on here once or twice, but I really want to highlight Lisk. This is my daily recommendation. What in the world are you doing if you don't know what Lisk is? Recommendation, I guess. Um, go learn about Lisk, please. Uh, essentially, what they're trying to do and what they're trying to become is uh, they're trying to become what the Apple Store was to music, um, except they're trying to become the App Store to the, the world of blockchain technology by making it very easy to access for regular programmers. Uh, no, no specialty, right? Uh, so regular programmers can start uh, building on the blockchain. Uh, they have a SDK in development, and it's been in development for quite a while. And the fact is, is that when it releases, when they have proof of an actual SDK, this thing is going to go crazy. 
because there are people out there right now who, who uh, would love to make some applications, but they just don't want to spend the time to learn a new language. Um, JavaScript is kind of like a pretty common language now. It's pretty much every programmer I know, uh, what they're learning at, out in college and things like that right now. So um, they're going to be developing rapidly, um, and there's going to be an unbelievable amount of excitement. Um, and the technology behind Lisk is very well thought out, and I'm a big fan of the technology. But I want you to learn more about Lisk and uh, find out how it potentially is going to change the entire ecosystem. I truly believe Lisk is going to be a top 10 uh, blockchain technology. Um, so it should place it solid somewhere in the top 20 overall between currencies and technologies. Um, and it's actually pretty close last I checked. Um, and it may have been up there before. I may have visited it once before, but um, very, very cool stuff that Lisk is doing. Please go check out Lisk uh, and learn more. I think you'll be happy that you did if you haven't already. Uh, moving on, uh, Polonex. Oh, good old Polonex. I don't even know what to say. Um, every single place uh, that I went today to research the news to... Um, prepare for this oh my gosh every single place at the top of the charts uh, highlighted news homepage news polo is setting some horrible examples of how not to treat your customers um, and it's not good it's becoming extremely disturbing I've talked about it before a few times on this channel and many of you have shared your frustrations and comments um, but essentially there are red flags everywhere here Okay, and I'm not saying the red flags. I'm not gonna, in regards to the four-letter word called a scam. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about basic business principles, uh, being able to be nimble and agile, and being able to grow quickly. Um, you've got to wonder with with a company like Polinex that's probably not strapped for cash in any any shape or form, right? They they're making plenty of money every day. Uh, they got plenty of cash flow. You would imagine. You would. You would at least think, you would at least think that they could hire some help. And even if you just hired someone to like be like, just to respond and be and be like, hey, we're gonna help you soon. Sorry, we're completely slammed. Rather than leaving people sitting there for weeks, there are people that are waiting weeks for a response on a support ticket. There's been reports of them just completely shutting down accounts. It's not okay. What's going on there? And the red flags are everywhere that... What's stopping these guys? If they're not going to invest in this and grow it, what's stopping them from just cashing out and walking away? It's extremely scary to me. Uh, and I don't know if anyone knows anyone over there. But um, if they need help, you know, um, they can reach out to me. I'll start helping, you know? Give me a phone. I want to help the people of this community. There's people suffering right now. There are, there are people who will turn away from blockchain and cryptocurrency technologies. Like legitimate, life-changing, game-changing, world-changing technology. They're going to walk away from it with a horrible taste in their mouth and spread bad news. And here, you know, we're all here trying to spread the good news. It's the exact opposite, and they're doing it in a much harsher way than I can ever imagine. Like it is not okay to be to to just ignore your customers for that long. You need to address it. You you need to be doing press releases on a like a daily basis, giving updates about how you're making uh you know strides in certain areas and decision making that's happening. I hope I hope people over there are not sleeping. Because I tell you what, if at some point we're, the world will find, will figure it out who all these people are and there will be pitchforks and torches headed your way. Um, you are, they've been accused of ruining people's lives. I've seen the, I've seen the saddest posts because of the, the challenges that Polonex is creating. Um, you should be a wake-up call too. It's really scary to think about how our money could be potentially locked up like that, right? In our own banks. And can you? I mean, that's essentially what's happening: is people aren't aren't 
able to access what is rightfully theirs, what they've uh, earned, truly earned. And um, yeah, I don't even know what to say any more than that, guys. So feel free to vent in the comments below. But um, I, I hope that they get it together. I really hope that they will do the right thing and make some press releases. And and I, you know, I can say that till I'm blue in the face and try to advise them on how to actually do proper business. But the fact of the matter is, is they will never watch this because they probably just don't even care about any of this space or trying to actually help people um, in general uh, in this space. Uh, so, you know, I'm sure they're not trolling around YouTube uh, supporting any of the evangelists or any of the, of, uh, the people that are trying to bring some positivity to this space. Um, so they'll never see it, but if you're out there and you maybe know somebody um, that's close to Polo or something like that, please urge them to do the right thing. Um, and uh, that's all we can do, right, is start asking them to do the right thing. So um, besides that, uh, we finally uh, got a little leak and then finally officially announced. Um, we've got uh, Psycoin. You guys, uh, you know, I was talking about Psycoin and how it was cooking. Well, we uh, now know what Obelisk is. Um, they have announced it, and uh, Obelisk is going to be an ASIC built for mining um, Psycoin, essentially. So that's fantastic. Um, I'm extremely excited to see what it's going to be like uh, because obviously it's a decentralized cloud storage uh, system and um, you know what type of storage capacity will it have how will it work um, is it going to be plug and play uh, you know where is it going to be available I do have to say guys I do have to say this about cycling and listen closely because we've all been talking about which storage coin is going to win the the battle win the game per se um we're we're seeing actual tangible results actual proof of things rolling out right i tell you what when the first youtube video review of obelisk comes out be careful guys it's gonna get hot it's going to uh be a good day to be owning Psycoin. now could the price drop in half between now and then? Absolutely. And then it could just come back to where it is now. Uh, today, Psycoin is actually retreating. Uh, there was a lot of buildup and hype about this, but now it's retreating. Seems like maybe the market wasn't so happy with this. Maybe they expected more. But what if this is so much more than we even understand, right? Like, what if this uh, miner... Um, is so much more than we, we truly can understand and we'll have to wait and see we need to see it in person we need to see some reviews uh, see it in action and I tell you what um, I'm interested in one I have no idea what it's going to cost but I'm definitely interested I'm also interested if uh, anybody will if will take it and you know, make a hybrid version so that I can I can use it for my personal storage as well. It'd be very interesting um, because you know maybe I think I think everyone's got maybe some type of s s data maybe they don't want on a blockchain personal data that you don't want in any way, shape, or form, and even when it's in multiple pieces spread around the world. Um, so I think I think everyone's still gonna always have their own storage of some sort. Um, with uh, how cheap and small uh, storage is now, I'm sure we're all just carried on our phones. My phone has well over 200 gigs. Sorry for your you iPhone people out there. I I can't imagine what it's like to have so little storage. Um, but uh, you know I've got plenty on on my phone, and uh, I I. I don't even understand why I don't have a Terra yet. Like, we should all have plenty of storage on our devices. It's very affordable. Um, so, um, no mean to bash the Apple people out there. I actually really enjoy Apple products. It's just uh, 
Apple is the only tech company in the world to increase the value of technology over time rather than decreasing the value of their technology. The price of their memory goes up and up and up and continues to. And it's fascinating. I'm just fascinated that people continue to, uh, to pay more. It's a, it's a testament to um, a true luxury brand that they are able to do that. So kudos to them. All right. So that's the first half of the news, guys. I'm going to be back with part two um, in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and get this wrapped up, get this posted for you guys. So you got something to listen to. Um, and uh, as always, if you want to hear the next one or anything else that uh, I... Uh, I make uh, any of the videos make sure you subscribe definitely give me a thumbs up it means the world to me um, and definitely uh, leave a comment there's lots to comment uh, about here and this community is great we got a small little group of people uh, following this channel and they're the nicest people in the world and they will help you they will answer your questions so just post your questions in the comments below and uh, be looking for an answer hopefully soon so that's it I'll talk to you soon, guys, and as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.